week after Bulusan Volcano's phreatic eruption, residents woke up to another one on Sunday morning. One of them, Mylin Shera, shared this video of the volcano spewing ashes. It only took seconds before the ash fall covered most of her town in Irusin. The same could be said in Huban, where villages and roads were also covered with thick ashes. Visibility along the highway was poor too. According to Huban MDRRMO, 24 out of 25 barangays were affected by the eruption. This include barangays Anyog, Puting Sapa, Bacolod, Buran Buran, Katanusan, Calio, Rangas, Sipaya, and Aruroy. Prior to the eruption, 105 families from barangay Puting Sapa were evacuated. Sa kasalukuyan, isang barangay pa lang po ang meron tayong uh, uh, evacuees. Bale, ito po yung na-evacuate natin noong nakarang araw pa as of June, uh, June 10. Preemptive evacuation po yun. Uh, dahil nga po doon sa previously recorded na increasing volcanic activities. As of now, wala pa namang order to evacuate doon sa uh, prior evacuation. Uh, nauna na yung mga vulnerable se sectors natin na nailikas doon sa barangay Puting Sapa. In Huban, residents and authorities have already started clearing the area. A clean-up drive was done in Kasiguran too. In a press conference, Sorsogon Governor Chis Escudero said more areas were affected by the ash fall this time. Mas madaming abo ang nilabas ng um, bulusan ngayon. At hindi tulad yung nakaraang pagputok din, kung saan isang barangay lamang ang naapektuhan. Ngayon, mas maraming barangay ang naapektuhan ng na ash fall. Escudero also said that there is no need to declare a state of calamity yet. He assured residents that the LGU has enough funds to support over 11,000 affected individuals. The LGU said that they are targeting to finish the clearing operation along Maharlika Highway as soon as possible so that the National Police, Fire Bureau, Coast Guard and DPWH can start going to the affected barangays. Thievokes, meanwhile, advised aviation authorities to avoid flying near Bulusan Summit as the ash can be hazardous. For News 5, Jenny Dongone, We Are One News.